everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Amy and I'm here to share with you guys about my hobby which is scuba diving. I have been doing like about 90 plus dives already since 2015 and I'm just in love with um, the activity but because of our movement control order I'm not able to do any diving at the moment. Initially I was supposed to do a Sipadan trip that's where I got these new equipments but I didn't manage to go because uh, of the current situation anyways I just want to share with you all um, why I got these gears uh, for myself uh, my underwater photog photography in a way because I wanted to do more on that instead um, previously I used GoPro Hero for any of my dive trips but then I realized that um, in terms of video, I can get good quality, but in terms of photography, I'm not able to get a good quality photo, especially when you want to do like macros and all that. I've done um, research about cameras on like what kind of cameras that are suitable or good to use underwater, and I've heard a lot of good things about um, Olympus and uh, its model, the tough model. So that's why I've decided to um, invest on um, this TG6. When I purchased my TG6, I actually um, got like, there was an offer at that time. So they gave me an extra battery for our um, camera. And then they also give like a like casing for, I don't know what this is for, I think when you go like, hiking or any activity you can put this on your belt something like that but i'm not gonna do that because i'm gonna use this for underwater um basically what i use is um a 64 gb uh extreme sd card and after that i purchased the um pt 059 olympus so um you can there's a lot of options actually for underwater housing you can actually have like the original um underwater housing for the olympus tg6 or you can also get um other uh, brands which i can also link down um, below in the description box next i got the arm um this one was actually a very difficult decision for me because it took me like a month to actually decide what i wanted um i've actually researched online um there's like backscatter with their own um arm system but i personally think that um, it's a bit too expensive for me if you have um, if you have extra money or you can spend more you can look look at that option because it's a higher end as compared to this one but for me I'm on a budget and I don't want to spend like loads of money for you know like an arm a friend of mine also bought an arm that costs about 70 ringgit but this one um, because of the flexi arm I decided to get this sea frog uh, T TS11 uh, which has a flexi arm like this you can flex it um, for your lighting with the arm system it doesn't come with this clamp and the trigger so the trigger we have to buy it separately um, you can find anything uh, online actually this was only like the arm itself cost about um 400 plus well, 450 and um this light i got when i took my advance and it's actually underwater photography equipment the only thing that i had to get for future is probably like strobe which i can put here or uh and then have uh, additional attachments to this so yeah that's that's about it like my trigger it's also assembled by my husband because he's the one who bought this whole thing for me except for the um, camera i bought it myself in future i will do another video uh where i take this underwater because i'm not able to do it right now um initially i was supposed to go to sipadan for my diving trip in september but i'm not able to do so because 
of the election and also um, the COVID uh, numbers are rising in Sabah. But yes, I'm gonna share and how, what what I will fix in future, like um, what I should, uh, what I wanted to do in future with my um, equipments to improve my diving. Yeah. Um, also, additional information um, with this arm system: don't buy something that is more than one kg because it will disrupt your buoyancy. So, I'm glad that I have this um, uh, buoy, uh, this flexi arm, because this flexi arm is a plastic um, material, so it will help to make my camera more buoyant as compared to having like another steel arm here except for the underwater housing um, we got this from Shopee and so far it doesn't cost me more than 5,000 it's about 4,000 I think um, if you include the lights that I bought from my previous diving trip for my uh, for my advanced um, certification, this is this is only about 350 or 450 something like that. I will share um, the information down below. I know that um, why I'm sharing this is because it's not easy to find some affordable um, equipment um, for diving, especially because all of this the hobby itself is expensive. So um, you wanna make. Um, you want to maximize or optimize the things that you use for your diving. Yeah, I guess that's about it. Thank you guys if you have any questions and curiosity about my diving trips. I'll, I'll share in another video if you want. And don't forget to like and subscribe.